Alright. So let my truck warm up a little bit right now. Just to get the oil moving. But we're gonna change the oil in the 2010 F-150 5.4. All we should really need oil drain pan, sockets, and I'm thinking I'm probably not even going to need my filter wrench, which I don't really like this one anyway. I should probably get a new one, but uh, yeah. And I'm also hopefully going to show you how I get the drain nut off without really getting any oil on me. See you under there. So for my particular truck, oil filter is down there. And unfortunately, I did get it on a little tighter than I remembered. I don't even know. I'll try to get my phone propped up here. Let's see if I can get this. In here, the first thing that I like to do when I am doing the oil is to make sure I can get the filter loose. I don't think this is right. Like and subscribe. All right, so I got the oil filter wrench on. Uh, the reason why I like to start with the oil filter first is just making sure that we can get it loosened. Because once you take the oil out, you can't get to the parts store anymore. So, I got it. Let me see if I can get that in. I got it. And loosen. Alright, so right here, under the truck, there's the front. Right here is the drain nut. And... We're gonna get this off of here. Oh, okay. I like that. So now, we're just gonna get that nice and loose. Focus now. Now, here comes the fun part. Oh, actually. Yeah, I don't need gloves. So, what I like to do is it's starting to dribble out. Yeah, you're gonna get a tiny bit on your fingers. But if you keep pushing up into it, then there's a neat little maneuver you can do to make it not go all the way up your arm. Ready? No, I don't think so yet. There we go. See? All we got is that. That's all the oil on my hand. I'd say not too shabby. And I warmed up the truck, so the oil's coming out. Nice and solid, because it is a cold, windy day. So we're gonna wait for that to drain, and to make it drain a little faster, we can open the uh, the fill cap up top, and then once this is done draining, we can plug it. Yeah. Like and subscribe. All right, now that it's pretty well done dripping, I mean. You can leave it going for hours if you really wanted to, but I feel like that's not really necessary. I have to take a little rag and just get a little whoop de whoop around the hole. Cool. And we're gonna take the drain nut. Sorry if I'm getting any of this out of the shot. Oh yeah, make sure nothing really on the end of that bad jack, something's not supposed to be there. And then, so we can put it back on. Make sure not to cross thread that. Make sure it threads in nice and easy. And we're gonna take this guy, my arm's falling asleep. And we're gonna give this little, oof. I'll probably hit that again with both hands just to give it a little extra. All right, it looks like unfortunately the wind took some of our oil and 
threw it on the ground. So we're gonna get some cat litter for that. All right, I'm looking back down in the top here. I got my drain pan positioned. It's kind of hard to tell, but that should catch right. There's like a little ramp under there. So what I'm gonna try to do is get that off and tilt it up as quick as I can. I'm not sure that there's gonna be a decent angle of that. Let's try here. So again, I'm pushing in on it until I feel the threads pop back over. Yep, I can hear stripping now. Oh, not yet. This is a weird cramped reach. There we go. Get a little oil here. Just keep that nice and good. And then we're gonna come back up here, do our awkward standy reach, and put it back in. Yeah, to give you an idea of how much I have to reach in here. Got some oil on the filter. So I'm gonna try to wipe that off so I can hopefully get it tightened up my hand. And they say, whatever you can do with one hand should be good enough. Like and subscribe. And now, fill it back up. This takes a while. If it's a long reach, you can use a funnel. Read your owner's manual to see how much you need. Actually, while I'm sitting here filling this, thinking about it, uh, yeah, this is my truck. Take it's a 2010 um, 5.4 Triton, and owner's manual says that it takes. I'll double check, but seven quarts. Um, as a general rule of thumb, whenever I'm changing, especially this much. Don't fill it exactly with what it says that it takes. Just, like, I'm probably going to do six. Let it sit for a while and then check it. And see if it needs more. And while we're waiting for the oil to fill, we're going to deal with that. You need to take some of this stuff. And you go, ja! Get all up in there. You get this in aisle three at your auto parts store. Yeah, we're gonna get some of that all over. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Maybe another scoop for good luck. Get some of this stuff in here. Do 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 do. Maybe a little more. Uh, do do do. And cha. Yeah, that should take care of most of it, probably. Later on, I'll probably move my truck and dump some more but that gets the majority of it all right i'm gonna check the oil here which really hard to see but it looks like it's there right in the middle so i'm gonna leave it and then uh Check it again, just to make sure it's still in the right spot, but just goes to show you, I called for six, or I called for seven, I put in six right in the middle, you don't want to overfill. And we're done. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it here, I'm going to do its reset thing here. Yeah, driver door is open, I know, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, change oil soon. Look at that. We're going to. Okay, so we're going to go to setup menu, maybe? Oil life, 2%. Oh, yeah. I'm hitting this button here. 
Gonna hold that down for a second. Boop. All done. Almost forgot. One last step. Start it up here. No leaks.